welcome to everyone today i am going to speak about my project tree famous in in sri lanka king devanampiya pisa of anuradhapura Hope you will enjoy this video. Introduction of King Devanampiya Tissa. When exploring the delight of the graceful history of Sri Lanka, there are a few escapes that can never be missed. Indeed, the period of the ancient kingdoms of Sri Lanka is an era as such. In the course, the astounding approach of Anuradhapura kingdom was a remarkable highlight. How this splendid island flourished during that period in terms of economy, civilization, religion, and culture is simply significant. However, the monarchy of the kingdom played a vital role with regard among them. King Devanampiya Tissa was one of the greatest and earliest king in Sri Lanka's history who reigned the country choosing the ancient city of Anuradhapura as his capital. Owing to his strong rule, noteworthy contributions and pleasant character, he is famous as an eminent personality in the Sri Lankan monarchy. Hence, we thought of sharing with you about this great king of Sri Lanka along with the important incidents that happened during his reign. The family of King Devanampiya Tissa Tissa was the second son of King Mutasiva. The great chronicle of Sri Lanka Mahavansa exemplifies that Tissa was most intelligent one of his brothers. In addition, he was the most prominent person reading virtuous and morality. Therefore, therefore, after King Mukasiva, his second beloved son, Tissa, reigned the kingdom of Anuradhapura from 247 BC to 207 BC. Later, after the king's coronation, many wonders came to pass. The treasures and jewels buried the bros and surface the is. Jewels that were buried with shipwrecks under deep waters reached the ice. Moreover, they naturally formed one fourth upon the lake. Likewise, a number of great miracles followed. Thus, the new king was very glad about those occurrences. Also, himself as well as the country believed they were a sign of the dawn of better future. Alternating the name King Tissa to King Devanampiya Tissa. The Empire Dharma Shoka was a major role that influenced King Tissa's crowning a huge success. As per history, they had uh, never met each other. Still, Mahavansa reveals that they were an intense friendship for a long period. Also, there are mentions in chronicles of how they were exchanging valuable gifts and secrets that they followed when ruling kingdoms. Thus, their friendship had been strong. Further, this bond was the reason behind the alternation of the name King Tissa to King Devanampiya Tissa. The story that follows would reveal to you how this happened. Exchange and gratuities among the kings. Once King Tissa sent a group of messengers with the treasure raised within the Isni during his coronation. Prince Arita, Baume, Am Amatya, and Ganakya were in the group. 
The emperor was pleased with their presence. He greeted them with great, great dignity. In addition, he offered some valuable force to them. When the group attempted to return, Empire Dharmashoka did not forget to, to send gifts to his friend Tissa. He decided to send five insignia of royalty needed for a proper coronation according to Maurya tradition. A tail wished for headplate, royal sword, golden footwear, and a pearl umbrella were among them. In addition, he coined a message to King Tissa informing him that he had converted to Buddhism and a plea to adopt the faith as well. But the king did not appear to comprehend the importance of his plea at that moment. Instead, he adopted the name Devam Devanampia. Sri Lanka Embracing Buddhism Empire Ashoka's name turned into Dharma Ashoka because of the well-known service he rendered to the Buddha Sasana. To be specific, he built around 84,000 places of shrines for the wellness of poor Theravada Buddhism. In addition, he was much interested in the propagation of Buddhism in the outer world. At that time, he started sending Buddhist mission missionaries to pass the message of Buddhism throughout the world. Owing to the friendship with King Devanampya Tissa, he decided to send the message of Buddhism to Sri Lanka as well. Accordingly, he sent his beloved son Arahat Mahinda in order to propagate Buddhism in Sri Lanka. Arrival of Arhat Mahinda Tero with Buddhism. Mahavansa liquid the how King Devanampya Tissa embraced Buddhism in a way that makes us imagine it is a series of visuals. According to the Great Chronicles, the incident took place on Poson Full Moon Poyade. At the moment, the king was enjoyed deer hunting with his 40,000 soldiers near the city of Mihintale. He saw a stag eating grass near the foot Mihintale. With a rush, he chased after the stag. Finally, he was stunned with the sound of someone calling him Tissa. He felt unfamiliar because no one had called to him Tissa without an honor after his crowning. He saw some bright orange bodies standing at the top of the Aradhana rock of Mihintale. They are stood Arahat Mahinda and his companies. The first conservation between the king and Mahinda Tero. Reclusas via O Great King. These clips of the king of Dhamma, out of compassion for you alone, have we come here from Jambudipa or India. The Arahat Mahinda Tero declared the above words in order to remind the king about his friend's campaign on propagation. Later, King Devanampya Tisha realized that the way missionaries sent from India. However, his mind entered the calm figure standing on the rock. Thus, we have ready to abide by the noble religion. Initiating Buddhism by delivering the Chulla Hasti Padopama Sutta. After a brief co con con conversation, Arahat Mahinda recovered how intelligent the king was. The Tero delivered the discourse on Chulla Hasti Padopama Sutta and converted King Devanampya Tissa and assembled to Buddhism. It was a remarkable day in Sri Lanka's history. Of course, it was the memorial day on which the establishment of Theravada Buddhism in Sri Lanka took place. Finally, the King Devanampya Tissa's name was added to the historical text earning title as the first Buddhist king of Sri Lanka.
religious services rendered by Finn Devanam Pyatissa and propagation of Buddhism throughout the country. Finn Devanam Pyatissa was able to build many in incredible temples and stupas. This called for the rap rapid propagation of Buddhism throughout the country within a very short period of time. The below section includes some of the great religious services rendered by the King Devan Ampyatissa. The king thanked for his friend Empire Dharma Shoka for introducing a noble religion for the Sri Lankan. He continued to propagate Buddhism all over the country. He built scared places to show his gratitude to the Buddha. Moreover, he did not forget to treat bhikkhus who are not the followers of noble religion. Planting of Sri Mahabodhi in Mahameunava Park. Empire Ashoka sacrificed both of his son and daughter for the better future of Buddhism. His beloved eldest daughter, Teri Sangamita, arrived in Sri Lanka with the supply of Shriad Sri Mahabodhi. It is the southern branch of the Shriad Bodhi at Buddha Gaya in India, under which Lord Buddha attained enlightenment. Thus, it was a tree with a great historical and religious value. Moreover, it reflects the power and blessings of the Lord Buddha. So, King Devanampiyatissa held a great ceremony to plant the scared sapling. He planted the sapling on higher terrace in Mahameunava Park in Anuradhapura. The amazing fact about his tree is that it is the oldest tree with a recorded planting date in the world. Therefore, even today, hundreds of Sri Lankans and tourists visit site with much demands daily. In it, indeed, it is a must visit the ancient city of Anuradhapura. Construction of Tuparame Tupa and established Bhikkhuni Sasana. In addition, the king built Tuparame. It is the first Tupa in Sri Lanka. King Devanampya Pisa constructed it by ensuring the right color born of the Lord Buddha. As a result, people who believed in stones and Greek roads started to worship Tuparame and Sri Mahabodhi showing their gratitude to the Lord Buddha. Even today, many visit to Parame. It not only remains as a religious place, but also a cultural attraction. Hence, to Parame also ranks top in the list of much visits in the ancient city of Anuradhapura. King Devanampiyatissa gave his maximum support to the guidance for the establishment of Bhikkhuni Sasana in Sri Lanka. This concept came to his mind as a result of Teri Sangamita's visit. Offering the Mahamegavana to Buddha Sasana. Mahamegavana, also known as Mahameunava, was a royal garden. King Mutasi, a father of King Devanampiyatis, established it. It was a charming garden with colorful blossoms, a number of trees, and fruits. However, King Devanampiyatis offered the Mahamegavana to the bhikkhus. Later, he built the center of Theravada Buddhism, Mahavihara, within the premises. Also, it is the garden where Sri Mahabodhi, Ruan Valisaya, Samadhi statue, and many other Buddhist cities are located. Temples built by King Devanampiyatissa. By now, it is clear that the era of King Devanampiyatissa was a noteworthy era in the Buddhist history of Sri Lanka as well. The temples built by him were the main reason behind this significance. Apart from building two paramya, he built several other temples. 
ಬೆಸ್ಸವಿರಿ ವಿಹಾರ ಇಸೀನ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಗಲ ರುವಾನ್ಗಿಲಿ ರಾಜ ಮಹಾವಿಹಾರ ಇಸುರು ಮುನಿಯ ವಿಹಾರ ಆ ಫ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಪಿ ಬುಡಿಸ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋ ಹಿಸ್ಟೋರಿಕಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಬೆಟರ್ ಓವರ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಗೋ ಟು ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಬಿಲೋ first isin bas gal ruan lili raja mahavihar its significance is a temple complex built by king devanapya tissa a new stops are in premises in the present a number of ancient ruins have been discovered through excavation from this site next isurumuniya vihar a temple by rock built by king devanapya tissa stands majestically by the redeeming following where famous for the amazing stone carvings it shelters next and last vesagiri vihar believed to be original isurumuniya vihar it is more like a cave complex it is a believed the 500 commoners dwelled here in a period of king devanampya tissa establishment of mahavihara and the main center of theravada buddhist education in sri lanka arahat mahinda's purchasing was so fantasy to listen to therefore people in the country struggled to attend his discourse but there was no such a huge hall for that purpose till king devanampya tissa wanted the whole country to listen arahat mahinda's speech so his contract a hall where a huge crowd of people who visit and listen to arahat mahinda's preaching it was named mahavihara unsuccessfully this hall was not satisfying fulfill its its attention therefore he modified a nearby elephant dwelling house into a hall as well later this mahavihara became a major site of theravada buddhism in sri lanka the chronicles reveal it was most possibly the most developed university in southern eastern asia during 5th century final king devanampya tissa's initial movement was very successful because many monks project their career center in the mahavihara in devanampya tissa astonishing creation of tissa river in devanampya tissa built an artificial reservoir the tissa river to get an adequate supply of water to his kingdom this was reservoir covers an area of approximately 550 acres similarly it is one of the most ancient reservoirs built by the kings However, according to the historical text, this river is only younger than Pandava and Abhavadi constructed by King Pandukabe. The amazing fact about this river is that the embankment of the tank is 11,000 feet in length and 25 feet in height. Later, King Devanampya Tissa noticed that important to his huge tank for development of his agriculture Sri Lanka. so he contract an irrigation system to provide water for paddy field in his kingdom even to the most of the people in the tract city of anuradhapura consume water from this server to day to day activities and agricultural activities therefore it was an indispensable creation of king devanampya tissa moreover if you ever visit anuradhapura never forget to dive a well by literally flowing tissa river it would certainly be a wonderful experience to cherish that's the end Thank you for everyone to watching this video. I'm Tarul Dampul Jayaratne from DSNR Naika College. Thank you very much.